I'm lost. Help me. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft Season 5 with me, False Symmetry. Today, I am in the Netherwolf Farm, and I found a weird bug where... Look, I go invisible if I look all the way down. All I'm doing is looking down. I vanish. Oh my goodness, False is a witch. Confirmed. <laughs> no, anyway, today I am over here because I need to collect some stuff. Now, you might be wondering, False, you're not really collecting it. You're kind of just removing it. Well, I guess also collecting it at the same time. But yes, we're finally going to get rid of this. Some of you guys have been confused why this is here. It is literally just a very, very, very manual farm. Of which I um, basically put here just so I could collect a, a, a whole poop ton of sugar cane. Like, look, look how much that is. That is literally a poop ton. If you ever wanted to know how much a poop ton was, it, it's this much. It's this much. Um, so uh, today we're actually going to... Funnily enough, be working on making this automatic. Now, I know what you're thinking, false, you're not a redstone genius, nor are you able to even make simple redstone very easily, and you would be correct. Oh, hello. Why have I got mushroom block? Hmm, interesting. I'll have to think about using them somewhere if I can silk touch those. I always forget about those. They are pretty cool, though. But yes, you're thinking, false one, earth are you doing redstone for in a video? But you know what? I'm up for the challenge. A lot of you guys always comment, oh my goodness, ask Mumbo, do, like, get Cubvan to help you, get, get Zuma to build it for you. But you know what? I like the challenge. People don't seem to understand that, apparently. But uh, I really, really like the challenge. I found the most amazing, like, seriously amazing, uh, Resident Tutorial, which is totally up my alley, and uh, I'm gonna try, yes guys, try, attempt to make uh, the redstone contraption in my base. So I have sort of marked out the area, in fact, since I've got a full inventory, let's actually fly over there. So here it is, I've also marked out a couple other things, some some path, some, uh, some buildings, there's possibly gonna be one there, and possibly gonna be two here and here. I've even got signposts on them, but this weird dirt thing in the middle, this is going to be the sugarcane farm. You can see I've sort of like dug it out so that I'm going to be making it on this level. And I don't know, I'm just so excited about making this. I'm sure I'm going to regret that like 10 minutes into the episode. But here it is in all of its glory. This is where the sugarcane farm is going to be. There'll be a link below for the tutorial if you are interested when you see what this hopefully does. Well, before I was rudely interrupted by the postman, uh, I've just received my mind chest actually for this month, so I'm pretty excited, but uh, I've just been laying out some area. Now, this might look a little bit weird to you right now, so I'm going to explain. I've made a massive rectangular leaves. This is all fine like it is. Uh, in these gaps here, where I've got leaves going, running across, uh, there are gaps that I've sort of half dug out. I'm, I'm going to have to dig them out from underneath some more. But basically, this is where the water is going to lie, so it's going to be underneath this. We'll also have to use some lighting underneath there too, to kind of light this place up. Although, technically, I don't need to. That is something I could possibly go in and do later on, although the redstone and water won't mix, so probably I'll have to do it as I go. So underneath uh, these areas here, well, these obviously are the sugarcane areas. The sugarcane's going to line up in these areas here and these areas here, uh, obviously with the water next to them. Underneath these areas is going to be the hopper minecart that is on tracks underneath. So basically what I'm doing, as you can see marked out by these, they're like, they're kind of basically E's. It's like Etho's been here or something. Uh, but basically, yeah, so uh, we've got a, on either end we've got a row of just one, and then we've got a two, and then we've got a two two, a two two, and then a two one at the end again. So basically that is what I'm doing. The original design didn't have paths, but I thought I would add paths in. The only problem with this is that it is a sweeping design. A sweeping design in that it's using slime blocks along here, and they basically, to collect the sugar cane, basically come from this end all the way to that end and then come back again. So yeah, you can't really use these paths here during the farming process because otherwise you will get your head chopped off I think possibly I mean maybe it won't hurt you but I've got a feeling it probably will there are other blocks uh, alongside the slime blocks that probably will kill you I'm sure so I don't know I mean maybe maybe we'll risk it and we'll try it out when we've got this thing up and running but for now I've got a lot more leaves to place a lot more leaves to collect by the looks I'm using spruce at the moment because I mean they're the leaves I had a whole bunch of already uh, but I'll probably mix in some uh, birch and other leaves perhaps 
as we go. So let me quickly do this and uh, plant the sugar cane and then we will see exactly what the farm is going to look like and all it'll need is the redstone added and we should hopefully, fingers crossed, have a fully working farm. Okay, so currently I'm going to be honest, it looks a little bit like a hedge maze. I've left uh, only the markers for that and that area, uh, the area I'm standing on right now. It is very, very dark. Let's hold a torch so we can see. Um, basically, this is going to be redstone. That's going to be redstone over there. You can't quite see it anymore. It's sort of dark, but it's basically a platform. Similar to this, it's just moved over by one block there. I think that block there is actually shouldn't be there. So, um, yeah, they're basically the redstone areas. They basically both have observer blocks, which I think this end or that end, perhaps. I think what I'm going to do is there's one end that has a lot, lot more redstone underneath and stuff. I think I'm going to make it this side and sort of cover it over because basically the design uh, on the tutorial has on the exterior walls of this hedge I mean obviously they connect for, for one but also, oh I've, I've missed the path here uh, there we go, that's much better they are like three or four tall and like a couple wide so that on these two ends they cover up the redstone but this end isn't so much of a problem I don't think we should have any issues on this end covering up redstone but where the redstone is massive, uh, and where the, pretty much the majority of the redstone is other than the rails underneath, is this side. So I'm thinking because of this hill is still here, I can sort of cover it over once I've added it. So fingers crossed that works, but it sort of looks like a hedge maze at the moment, which is, I don't know, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I don't know now whether or not I should add the sugar cane or whether or not, no, I guess I need the water first. Otherwise, I can't place the sugar cane. So I need to go down here, which I've already dug out. Look at this. Oh my goodness, I'm amazing. Uh, um, it's like, it's like, this is something I've done earlier. It's like, you know, do you guys remember like flipping, um, like, I don't know, I used to watch a lot of arty kids shows when I was younger. And it's like, here's one I made earlier. Or like on cooking shows, they'd be like, oh, in the oven, here's one I made earlier. It's like, it's like that. Here's a hole I dug earlier. Um, yes, so I need to dig out all these, add the water in, add the rails in, and then I think we'll hopefully be okay to add the rest of the redstone. I'm really worried about the water. I think, you know what? We'll save the sugar cane and water to last, and then we should be good. Yeah, that might be a better idea. Rails first, redstone, see if it works, and then get the sugar cane in. Yeah, that that's a lot, 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 that's a lot more logical. I was being a dummy, of course. Okay, so I can see already that I'm going to have issues doing these rails. I think I need to do them like this, so that I can place them down so they all face the right the right way. Because otherwise, if I'm doing both of these at the same time, they're connecting, which is no good. So I've got quite a few rows to go at this. I'm pretty sure already that I'm going to run out of... Uh, rails very very soon which sucks because the only iron I really have properly is meant to be saved for <laughs> uh, beacons so um, yeah gonna have some issues with that so rip 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 the iron the iron I'm gonna have to go and find some iron farm or something at some point uh, I'm sure I should have enough iron at least for the rails which is good and um, I mean at least down here is lit up because of the sea lanterns I put them on the edge of the uh, hedges, so hopefully it's night time, nearly night time, you should be able to then see hopefully how lit up it is, which I think it's going to be okay, I think, I think it's going to be subtle enough that it's not too bad, uh, but I probably will add lighting, you know, for show outside, so it'd be really, really nice to have some sort of like electrical lighting lampposts, perhaps, over this, don't know why that's what I'm thinking, but uh, yeah, you can see how the edges glow, which is nice, and the middle stays dark. I'm digging that. I think that looks really, really cool. And also, you can see I've added the uh, the slime blocks over there to kind of count out exactly if I did this properly, which it looks like I have. They uh, they make sense, and they're going to be the thing that sweeps along, and therefore that's why I mentioned being in these paths is probably not my best idea, because, well, I mean, that's at head height, isn't it? I'm going to have my head chopped off. So uh, let's not hang around and uh, quickly finish off these rails. I say quickly. It's going to take ages, I'm sure. Okay. So I'm in a very odd situation right now, a situation I've never been in before, and that is that I've run out of redstone. I mean, I have that that I can fortune, and I'm hoping that is fortune, right? I mean, how much am I going to get from this? Not an awful lot. I need redstone blocks. <laughs> uh, I know there are ways of powering rails that isn't redstone blocks, but they're just so much easier. But no, for, for real, I have literally 
run out completely of redstone. It just doesn't exist in my chests anymore. That is just gone. Am I blind? No. It literally just doesn't doesn't exist. I just like that's all I have. I need like at least like ten more blocks. That's all I need. And I'm so close. Dang it. Okay, well, I guess we've got to go on an impromptu mining trip. Oh, that's no fun. Do I even still have a flipping thing here? I do. Hallelujah. Okay, I'm going to head down there, collect all the redstone with my fortune, and um, fingers crossed we can find some easily, and I haven't just completely gutted the whole area down there, because I'm pretty sure I always collect redstone when I get to see it. But, I don't know. I've run out. But... Okay, so my uh, trip to find some redstone has now turned into a, um, I'm lost, help me, uh, situation. Because I don't know where I am, and I don't know where I went, and I don't know my way out of this cave. That's a great song, that one. Um, that's a false original, that. Um, yeah, I don't really know my way out. I have found a little bit of redstone. Uh, it should probably be enough, but I do want to collect a little bit more. Just so I don't have to come back down here again, because, hey, getting lost once um, is fine. Getting lost twice, oh my goodness, this is on me, um, is, is just, you know, fool me, because that, that is just stupid. So, um, let's not do that, let's find our way out. I'm just going to have to dig my way out at this point. I don't know where I am, I'm, I've walked into this cave and it is completely not what I remember it looking like. Ah, redstone. Um, there are lots of dark areas, though. Um, I think my hostile mobs are off, but fingers crossed we can find our way out at some point. Ah, diamonds! I don't know how I put torches there and d didn't pick up the diamonds, but but hey, diamonds. I'll take that. Let's just hope we can leave alive. Okay, well, after digging around literally all of the caves, I think, in existence on the server, I found a, a spawner. This is my only torch, though. That's sort of a problem, isn't it? Hopefully there's no baby zombie right now. I will scream and probably die. What's going on in here, fellas? Yeah, you know what? I'm not interested. I'm really not interested. I've been blocking off all of this over here. Is there a different one here? Oh, flip. Not. Oh, this is so stressful. Literally the most stressful thing. There's, there's the noise of the zombies. I'm coming up in the savannah, by the way. That's how far I went in my tunnel. I went all the way to the end and was like, oh, there's a cave here. This must, you know, not be super explored. And I was right. There was loads of redstone, but... Oh man, I'm I'm literally hitting all the mobs and it's dark outside. Great, perfect, ten out of ten. I'm gonna go get a cup of tea and go AFK in a hole. Don't mind me, just you know the normal normal Minecraft day. <laughs> Dang it! Well, I literally wasn't lying there. I went to go get a cup of tea, came back. It was daytime. No one was on the server, and I was like, perfect. This is great. I can I can just get out of this hole in the ground and find my way back. It wasn't very far. It's literally directly that way. So that was kind of handy. And I had my, um, my litter on me and stuff like that, so it's all good. Anyway, now, we sort of have to do this kind of weird thing that... Oh, but do I need, like, I think I need some sticky... Oh, no, I've got some sticky pistons. Uh, this is going to be difficult. So I've basically got to copy this part now. So I've basically done all of this resto down here. Like, look, I'm hoping this is, like... I don't know what this is. Can anyone explain this to me? I guess it connects to this I don't know this part is really confusing I, I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this um yeah I'm also do I need to get rid of that I don't know if this dropper needs space to run I, I don't think so I think I'm being stupid right um we're, we're basically gonna hope that and pray that this is actually working that is completely in the wrong place though Need to put it there. There we go. Uh, I then need to do some sort of like staircasey thing. So this has to kind of come up here and basically go this way. I'm gonna put that there, and then it does have obsidian up here, which I don't know if it's. Oh, I actually saying that. I bet it is necessary. I don't seem to have it on me. So let me go find it. It's in another shulker box over here. Huzzah! Found the obsidian. There we go. We want that right there. This redstone, though, goes to... I don't know. It's just confusing me. I don't know, actually, quite if it's meant to be there. I, I guess that's correct. That sort of looks correct-ish. Uh, in here, we need a repeater by the looks. Something like a so. Wait, I can't place it on there. So, 
Okay, by the looks of it, we need to put an observer here, which says it's facing down. We need it facing north? Facing south. Oh, oh. False is a dummy. Can you tell? Everybody already knew this. Dang it. Okay, I need to face it sideways. I keep clicking the wrong buttons. But, I'm sorry, I'm not a redstone expert like, like the rest of the flipping people on the server. There we go. That's better. Repeater on there. On the full ticks. We need some sort of, like, trapdoor thing and an observer and perhaps another piston. So let me do that off camera because... You know, I'm failing already. I might as well just <laughs> do it in my own time. Blimey. Ah, it's starting to get crazy. Please stop. Oh, there we go. Holy flip. I forgot a torch. <laughs> I forgot a torch. I knew there was something missing. I just hadn't placed it yet. But uh, there we go. We sort of have something. We sort of have something. I haven't tried it out yet. I'm guessing I need to like... Well, first you get rid of some of this stuff. Oh no. You know what? I shouldn't... Probably have finished this bit off completely over here, because if this started going... Which is like, it's fine, like, I, I'm actually going to run this before I put the water in and everything to make sure it's actually all, all doing stuff. We'll even collect the, uh, check the collecting mechanism, perhaps. Uh, but I haven't actually got anything to stop the, uh, the slime blocks from going along. It might con continuously go through here. Because these are invisible blocks, right? So I guess it... Oh, well, not, not invisible, but you know what I mean. Uh, it might stop on the... Here? But I don't think I want to risk that, so what I'm going to do now is let's do this part before we try anything. And double check that this is correct, because that is the stopping mechanism that sends it back again. Which saves me from building it multiple times, which is, you know, sounds great to me, to be honest. I do not want to have to build this thing again. Okay, this part over here seems pretty simple. It is literally obsidian block, a uh, repeater, a uh, trapdoor, the observer block. They're looking very very stern, very confused as to what is going to happen. I also have that face on right now, quite literally. Um, mostly because I think I'm scared uh, that uh, things aren't going to work. I want to actually quickly do something. That being, I want to put some more... I have some of these. Okay, this should be enough, hopefully. I want to put these here. don't think these are going to actually affect anything, but just to be on the safe side, I'm going to add these here. Shh. Should put some here as well. This shouldn't affect anything. No. Okay. We should be good. Right. Uh, moment of truth. Oh, wait. Saying that, the sun's going down. This is actually going to be for real, the moment of truth, because it's a daylight sensor, which I'm hoping is on the right thing. Let me quickly check my second screen. Yeah, it's in the yellow mode. I always, I don't, I don't ever know which way around this, this thing works, but it looks accurate, is all I'm going to say. Okay. So, it did the thing. Um, as in, I right click this, that goes up, but it only goes in and out. It just pushes it out one and then takes it back again. I don't know what this means! Zara, I missed something. This should be facing upwards, so we need to put it there. Hopefully, please don't start going. <laughs> please don't start, don't start going while I'm uh, doing stuff. Right, okay, that's up. Boom. Boom. <gasps> it's going! It's going! Oh my goodness, I'm way too excited. Um, okay, so it's gonna glitch a little bit, it's gonna make invisible areas like that. Then they're not actually really there, it doesn't duplicate it either. It just sort of... Okay, moment of truth, moment of truth, moment of truth. Huh? It went back! It went back! Oh my goodness, guys. Okay, I might be freaking out a little bit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I get really excited when I do redstone correctly. Let's just say that. Yes! Oh my goodness! This is the best thing ever! Oh. My. Goodness. Okay. How cool was that? How cool was that? See? Flippin' Mumbo Jumbo wouldn't have done that for me. <laughs> I, jo I joke, I joke. Um, they probably might have used that design. Who even knows? But oh my goodness, I am like super excited by that. Like so very excited. I need to like have that on that mode, I think. Oh my goodness, that just ah oh, works so well. Okay, I'm gonna have to check that it works actually like at day uh, at daylight or nighttime. I don't know which one it sets off. I think when you set it daytime, it goes off. I can't remember, but basically it's 20 minutes. It's sort of like a 20 minute timer. I've got a feeling it might break being on a server though. 
Hmm, I don't know, but either way I need to work out how to actually disguise this to disguise that pot and um, Actually, do I even care right now? Probably not. I'm quite happy the redstone being visible, but it works It's great. Need to add the water um, I guess what, what I should probably do is get my camera count on to check the actual minecart underneath check that that works cuz That's something that I haven't checked yet. This mechanic works fine The mechanic down the bottom should do I'm pretty sure I've done it correctly, but that actually makes me more more, more worried that I'm pretty sure is working. I feel like I'm lying to myself. I better check. Okay, so right now I'm checking on this. There was actually something wrong. Uh, it wasn't this. This my car actually wasn't going around. Uh, that was an issue that was easily sorted by turning a repeat around. It wasn't facing the right way. Okay, it should go back straight back to the beginning. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful, and then it and then it picked up all of the little stone bricks and ladders that I left. Does it go off again? So does this thing keep moving? That is something I'm not sure about because the redstone on the actual test world uh, was broken, so I'm not sure. But it doesn't really matter if it does carry on going around. We can always fix it. Uh, something I do need to do because this is it is a dropper right in here. This thing here is a dropper that I'm in <laughs> right now, next to the, the hoppers. Um, I need to sort out some sort of storage for this. Also, my head seems to be backwards. But uh, it seems to be collecting sort of well. Like some of them I chucked on. Yeah, all these ones I chucked on accidentally with the leaves. So, shouldn't have that issue. Fingers crossed this works. I think what I'm going to do now is watch this a little bit longer. See if it does actually stop at any point. I'm actually not sure. I didn't probably listen that closely to the, to the tutorial itself. But, um... Yeah, it's working. I'm happy. Just need to sort out some storage, or at least some temporary storage. And yeah, just watch it for a bit. It's kind of fun. It's kind of fun to watch, but I'm going to uh, probably put all the sugar cane in. There you go. It stopped because it didn't have anything to drop off. <gasps> Perfect. Ah, oh, it works, guys. Am I a genius or what? Come on now. Come on now. You've got to fill the comments with false a genius, right? <laughs> in before the comments are just false. You're an idiot. Yeah, I feel like that's more likely. Cool. So the way in which I'm going to install the water... Oh, this is invisible. Ignore it, ignore it. It's not really there. It's not It's not real. It's not real. I think this is going to be the best way of doing the water. I am, it doesn't mean I have to remove everything, but I think this is going to be the best way of doing it and then replacing the leaves as I go. Yep, it's going to be quite a task, but should take less time than the tracks did because that, that was literally like an hour, me placing those tracks down there. <laughs> Kind of ridiculous. Right, there we go. We have it. We have it working just fine. All we need to do now is add the sugar cane. Walking like this is probably going to be the easiest way of doing it. And, um, yeah, this should work. So what I'm going to do, I mean, it's currently night time, so I'm not sure when this thing's going to set off. Maybe when it becomes daytime? Okay, it's midnight right now. Hopefully no one sleeps and we get to see this thing in its full... Glory, it does mean that it is going to spit out the, uh, I haven't added the chest yet, it is going to spit out anything it picks up, but I've got a ladder down there for the moment, so I should be good. I just want to see what this looks like when it's all planted up, and um, it's all lit up, and because you've got this kind of dark green at the moment, and also, you know, this really, really bright neon green. I've also, I don't know if I want to do this, but um, it might be quite nice to, like, here and there add some of these because that's what this is what I've used um, in the area over there where I've been using some some birch as well as some spruce so it sort of kind of makes it look a little bit more interesting I guess um, so I guess I will do that here and there oh, I quite like that it's quite nice you got kind of three different shades of green pretty cool pretty cool but yeah let's make sure every little bit is planted up we should hopefully have enough sugarcane but I've got a feeling we might not Either way, we'll collect some uh, in just a minute from it, hopefully when they grow. And um, yeah, if all else fails, we can always turn the mecha mechanism off and collect it manually or something like that. Because it does still work as a manual farm, but it's just not as fun. Okay, I'm busy adding some, some birch right now and it's coming for me. Oh god. Okay, it, that means it's probably going to pick up some leaves and spit those out as well. But it's all planted. It's going back. So it does it at sunrise. So let's have a look at this thing from the sky, see if we can catch it moving as well. Yeah, okay. It looks really cool. It does look really, really cool. 
and it's just right like it doesn't look too i mean it does look quite quite mm, how do i put it geometric and kind of perfect if you will i can't think of a better word um right now my brain's not working after all that redstone but um I think that once I start adding some different blocks in here, I think I'm going to have some issues replacing this. I mean, you're going to have to get rid of the water and place different paths in, or use perhaps half slabs on top of here. Um, which I might, actually, you know what I might do, because you can't, from down here you can't really see it that well. Might be quite nice, half slabs, some, some stone and some copper ones mixed in perhaps. But I think that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to collect a whole bunch more birch leaves. We're going to prettify this. We're going to, I think, cover it over this side, I think, a little bit. Uh, make it so that this building can kind of sit on top of the land above it. We need to be very, very careful of uh, obviously interacting with the slime blocks. So what I'm going to do is actually cover them over, make sure nothing can touch them. Um, that is going to be like dirt or whatever. That will be kind of a good handy way of doing things. Cover that over with dirt. Um, and basically I don't think we should have any other issues. So, fingers crossed this works. I'll just be able to make it look pretty. Which obviously is always my kind of thing. And, yeah, I'm really happy with it. Like, look. It looks so cool. Okay, ZF is sleeping. That means that this thing's going to head off again when it becomes daytime. It has started growing too. So, there we go. Let's see what it looks like. Oh my goodness, they bounce everywhere. I did not know that. I did not know that they bounced everywhere. Look at that. They literally go flying. Is that going to be a problem? Maybe that's why it had walls. Oh, that might be why it had walls. Um, <laughs> well, I guess. How much How much sugarcane is that? Did I have some already on me? Probably. No, okay, I didn't. So that's maybe about 13 that I've lost there. The rest should be collected. I guess it won't be that bad. I mean, you know, I'm only here enough that I will collect probably enough that I need. It should be collecting it all as well. Uh, to prove that these are invisible, by the way, you can actually just right click on them and they vanish. Um, so that's kind of handy. Uh, there we go, all gone. So I should probably actually go look, since I think the minecart must be going. Let's quickly, oh, if I can get in the air, there we go. There we go, I'm in the air. Quickly head down here, you can sort, sort of see I did some terraforming here. Terrible terraforming, but Hey, it works. So this is where the redstone is, this is where it should be popping out, and did I pick up any? Oh, there you go. There you go, it's, it's spitting it out. Okay, good. Well, I'm glad that that works. I just need to sort out some sort of, some actual, um, oh, I, oh, I can open this up in here now. I can get some actual storage in here temporarily, and then I think maybe you guys can tell me what, what sort of storage thing I should build, maybe one on the surface somewhere. Get, the, get it to be going, you know, perhaps through an ice path, perhaps. I mean, that's the kind of stuff that I probably will need another hermit's help with. Just because I'm not that great at uh, ice paths and stuff like that. So, definitely up for your suggestions. But for now, I think I'm going to attempt, at least, to come up with some sort of chest. But look at that! It's still going. We have got loads and loads of sugarcane now, which is perfect. And it's all collected automatically, which saves us time. So, yeah, that makes me happy, folks. I said temporary uh, storage, I literally mean, like, seriously, the most temporary storage I can make. Um, so I think I'm going to add one more chest there since I had one more hopper on me. No, that's the wrong place. Don't go there. Go there. There we go. So I'm hoping that now what I should do is, when it comes into here, it should go da 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 all the way down. It should start filling up from the bottom. Perfect. And there we go. There we have it. We have... Sugarcane storage, I can come collect this whenever I like, it doesn't um, fill up my storage that's in my base currently, which I'm already sort of running out of a little bit. I'm gonna leave the crafting table there too, actually saying that I better grab these out of here and fill it up, boom, there you go. Uh, there was some over there somewhere, but I think I'm gonna leave it so I don't break anything, it doesn't matter, we'll be collecting it from now on automatically, so um, yeah. There we go, that is it. I think I do want to do a little bit of perhaps more tidying up up here, making things look good. Have I got some sort of trapdoor to put on top of this? Because I can't have it just there hanging out. We'll, we'll sort of cover it for now. We don't know what we're doing with this area on top just yet. But uh, as you can see, I've sort of made it look fairly natural. It obviously needs to grow some grass. And um, I sort of need to figure out what's going on all the way around. Because, yeah, it's not quite looking exactly how I want just yet. But... It is pretty sweet though. I am very, very happy with it. Okay, so while we're uh, making this thing look extra pretty by adding sort of archways, do they even work? 
I'm not sure. I think there's some flowers and some extra guns around this. It'll actually look okay. Uh, I am start starting to think that this might have been better in the posh area, which is sort of that area over there where there's going to be kind of bigger houses. And there's also a canal that I've sort of dug out in live stream. What I have decided though uh, in digging these parts out over here and over there is that this is where storage can go. Uh, it's not very big storage. I can fit three chests there. I guess I can I can dig it down for as deep as I as as I like into the ground. That might be quite nice. I don't know where the chest is though. Is it going upwards or is it kind of? See, the problem is I don't know how to move items upwards without an item elevator, which. I don't really fancy building myself. I'll either get someone else's help, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't know, maybe. I also have decided that over here where this house is going to be, instead of having like the normal arch here that kind of reaches in from the outside, this is going to be uh, directly into the house. So the house you'll be able to go downwards into it, because the house is sort of on a hill up here. Uh, you'll be able to go down into that and, and head into your like garden, I guess. I don't, I don't really want it to be a private garden, I want it to be a public one. Because only, you know, the the richest people would have a private garden like this, I think. So, I don't know. Anyway, um, stop faffing around. I'm going to make it look a little bit extra pretty. Oh, I'm going to attempt to anyway. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm struggling right now. I think it's because I haven't built anything around it. And it's just sitting here all on its lonesome. Yeah, that's probably why. I was just editing up the video. I was so happy. I had a smile on my face. I was like, you know what? While I'm editing, I'll do this path, uh, which I shouldn't really be doing. I shouldn't really be building in Minecraft while um, I'm editing, because that that is where you make mistakes, or at least where I make mistakes, and uh, not cut out things where I mess up and stuff. So apologies if there are any messing up on words and the stuff in the recording. That just happens on a daily basis for me. But uh, yeah, as you can see, we've got an issue. And I'm not actually sure how to fix it right now. Um, I think what I need to do quickly, though, is plonk these down here. Now, I haven't actually touched anything. All I've been doing is this stuff here. Wait a second. There isn't any blocks in the way. No, I haven't. No. All I've done is, like, chop this out. Oh. Is it? Is it the half slabs? You know what? That could be it. It can't be, can it? This bit hasn't even got half slabs underneath it. Okay, basically what I need to do right now, I think, is reset it. Uh, oh, you know what? Did I make that daylight sensor so they can see the sky? I've just thought randomly about that. Uh, I didn't, did I? I guess that's quite important. Um, <laughs> uh, where is it? Where is the daylight sensor? It's up here. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, but that... I don't know, it went off before then. It wasn't that that was the specific thing that, like, killed it. I'm guessing that that's okay with just the one block above it. Um. I guess I need to replace it. Uh, put it back over there, replace it. And see if it goes off the next day. Bit of an odd situation, though. If it stops there on this row, we'll notice the half stabs being the issue. Because we remove them from this area. But I think I've royally screwed up right now. <laughs> and I don't know how. It can't be the flipping half slabs. I've not placed anything. What have I done? They like for real, what I've not touched anything, yet it just randomly stopped. It possibly the only thing I can think of is that it went out of unloaded chunks. Only that is flapping. Uh this is still working here. Should still be a torch in there. Not touched any of that. Should be no issues. Like, this is still working fine. I'm not sure what happened. Is it the fact that this is all covered over? I, I really don't know. I, like, seriously have no clue. At all. What it could be. At this point. Now, people are on, but I don't really... Well... I guess Doc's, uh, Doc, Doc knows Redstone, but um, I don't really want to like bother anyone right now. Everyone, I think, is uh, off doing other stuff right now, so I'm kind of thinking I might leave the episode here, which isn't the best place for it. I, I realise I don't like leaving episodes like this, but I guess if all else fails with that, though, and the daylight centre is the problem, I can add a switch and just have this so I can harvest it whenever I like, which is fine by me. In fact, that actually might be better than the timer. 
uh, because of unloaded chunks and stuff. Let me know down below. You guys are the experts when it comes to redstone. I am the noob. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm very, very happy with how this is going, but I've got to stop because, oh my goodness, is it stressing me out, the fact that it's not working. I've done absolutely nothing wrong and it stopped working, which makes me very sad false and, um, I don't know. At some point, I mean, all the, all the gubbins is there. All the gubbins is there. Just, just it's not working for some reason. After so many tries, I tried it at least 10 times and it worked fine. Ha, oh, always is the case, man. Always is the case. Dang it. When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.